welcome to New Blue Effects Tips and Techniques. I'm Todor Fay with New Blue. Today I'd like to show you how to use stabilizer to create beautiful tracking shots with a handheld camera. I love camera motion. When the camera's eye tracks through a scene, the changing perspective brings the story to life, giving it dimension. In comparison, panning and zooming leave the scene flat. It's boring. Of course, traditionally there's been a catch. To get those smooth tracking shots, you would need a camera boom or a dolly on tracks. But it turns out that with today's HD cameras and good software stabilization, you can get what you want. Let me give you an example. Last summer, I was visiting a certain museum in Paris, and I saw a story in the hordes of tourists making their pilgrimage to see the Mona Lisa. I had my ideas on how I liked to shoot it, and they involved a lot of motion. So, with camera in my hands, I flew it through the halls as if I were on a nice expensive rig, and I hoped for the best. Well, you can see what I got. Doesn't look too glamorous. Of course, when I shot it, I intended that it would look like this. Now, I like to think that's a real production instead of a bad home movie. So how did I do this? I know I didn't smuggle a lot of expensive gear past the museum guards. I used New Blue Stabilizer. Stabilizer can fix the picture with very minimal image degradation. It does this with its subpixel motion resolution and cubic interpolation. Sorry, I went nerd on you there. We start by dropping stabilizer on the clip. Notice the control panel is broken into two sections, Analyze and Stabilize. For stabilizer to do its job, it must analyze the entire clip and calculate all frame-to-frame -frame motion. When we start, Stabilizer reminds us that we haven't run the analysis yet. We begin with the default settings. Preparing for analysis is pretty easy. We can leave the first two controls at zero. They're only necessary for special cases. That leaves the strength control. Strength sets how rigorous the analysis should be. Lower values require significantly less CPU, but may encounter errors. Let's start analysis. Analysis processes the entire clip, comparing frame to frame and noting the motion. It finds comparison points between adjacent frames and draws lines to indicate how much each point moved. It also throws out lines that it feels are mistakes, or moving too fast or slow relative to the rest. These it draws in red. From this, it can decipher the overall motion of the camera. Once the analysis is complete, Stabilizer is ready for playback. Now we can adjust the playback parameters. First, adjust the camera smoothing to get the right level of motion. With no smoothing, the image is full of jitter again. We don't want that. Turn all the way up, and the more of those edges come in and out. For this one, we're better back somewhere in the middle. Now the borders are very manageable. But we're not done. Stabilizer provides some nice options for cleaning up those borders. Let's start with the black border option because it shows us what happens when we don't do anything about the border. By the way, this gives us a good idea of how Stabilizer actually works. Of course, this is not really what we want our finished film to look like, so let's continue. Crop provides a quick, clean way to avoid the borders. Turn it up, and the shot enlarges, pushing out the edges. However, we may not want to zoom in this much, in which case we need to find some other way to obscure those edges. We go back to the menu and choose from a palette of drawing options. My favorite is Fill. This fills out the edges with copies of the pixels from the image. Looks pretty good. Adjust the feather control to smooth the edge between the image and the border. This makes it even harder to notice that border fill. You can continue to experiment with the border fill controls to find the combination that works best with your shot. My personal experience is the default settings seem to work really well for most situations. Well, there you have it. Next time you're inspired to shoot something with camera motion but you don't have the crew or equipment, you can do it. For more information on New Blue Stabilizer, visit our website at www.newblueeffects.com where you'll also find many more tutorials in our Tips and Techniques library. This is Todor Fay. Thanks for joining us and learning a bit more about New Blue Effects. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use. Thank you.